that I would be like, blink, plonk, plonk, plonk. <laughs> I'm but, sorry, how did that go? Blink, blink plonk, blink, plonk, plonk. I know that song. Donnie, I just love this kitchen table. Where'd you get it? Thanks, Jason. I picked it up at Vintage Underground, 5817 6th Avenue. From fine decorative plates to collective beer cans to the toys you loved as a child, there are vintage and unique items everywhere. Not sure what you're looking for? Stacy will be happy to help you find a perfect gift for someone or just something to treat yourself. Don't miss their expanded space to the north full of amazing local vendors. Stop at Vintage Underground in downtown Kenosha today. Life throws us curveballs, moments when we need to gather, remember, and say goodbye. It's during these times that Casey Family Options Funerals and Cremations stands with you. They offer a wide range of affordable options, from traditional funerals to modern celebrations of life. No matter your family's wishes, they can create a meaningful tribute without breaking the bank. But here's the thing. Affordability does not mean they cut corners. At Casey Family Options, they believe every life deserves a beautiful send-off. So when life throws you a curveball, remember you're not alone. Casey Family Options Funeral and Cremations, affordable care with endless compassion. Visit them online at CaseyFamilyOptions.com or call today for a free consultation, 262-653-0667. Hey, Jason, want to help me move this weekend? Hey, don't be that guy. Your friends do not want to spend all day lugging your crap around for a few beers and pizza. When you are looking to relocate, call on About Time Moving Systems. They have over 20 years of trusted five-star experience. Find them online at AboutTimeMoving.com. Your friends and your body will thank you. The only thing wilder than this episode of the K-Talk Max podcast is the sweet harmony sounds of Violet Wilder. We connect with Kim, Melissa, and Jaina of Kenosha's own Violet Wilder. Cue that music. Hey there, Donnie. Hey there, Jason. How you doing today, buddy? I am doing great. I had to crack that beer right now. I had to wait. I had this taste of malort in my mouth for the last, like, three minutes. Well, it is a official I crack my beer shot because to the K-Town Connects podcast. Part of the tradition is I crack my beer at the end of the song. And so I had to wait that out with this malort taste in my mouth. I am so sorry the for The official liquor of the uh, K-Town Connects podcast. Yes, yes. For some odd uh, yeah. reason. Ah, well, we are hey, the K-Town Connects Podcast. You got your first F bomb in. Oh, me. yes. Uh, good, good job. He's going to have to edit that pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for that. Well, we are the K-Town Connects Podcast, and we are recording here today at the A-Plus Mobility Recording Studio in downtown Kenosha. That's right. A-Plus Mobility is the area's newest mobility and home medical equipment store. Owner Ashley Knight has the knowledge to help you make the right choices for yourself or your loved one. That's A Plus Mobility, 2324 18th Street. Visit their website, aplusmobilitysolutions.com for more. That was an A Plus ad read by you, Jason. Thanks, Thanks for getting us out. Uh, and thank you, Ashley, so much for that sponsorship. Yeah. We love A Plus Mobility so much. And we love the A Plus Mobility Recording Studio. Yes, we do. Thank you, Ashley. I can't, you know what I'm going to get you? Because you're getting up there in age. I'm going to get you a scooter from A Plus Mobility. <laughs> okay, all right. That'll be fun for you to scoot around I on. I prefer one of those chairs that you lift up. Ah, uh, yes, the lift chairs. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I might be in the market for one sooner than later for my one of my parents. Oh, okay. So not, for me, not for me yet. That's not turn. for me. We're to, <laughs> thought we were being funny. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, hey, how about that theme song by Dropping Daisies? Huh, girls? You like that one, huh? Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> A real rockin' tune, and you know what they say. What do they say? Still number one on the charts and number one in all of our hearts. Wow, it's not being challenged by any other songs? I, not yet. <laughs> not, stay tuned for the end of the show. Maybe it will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Dropping Daisies, so much for that. But uh, what's brewing today there, Donnie? Oh, my gosh. As always in the k Tonic studio, we are brewing up some Public Craft Brewing Company beer. I am drinking the Public 
Light lager. It is so refreshing and crisp. I just love it. And you know what I love? The 4% alcohol count. I can drink 10 of them <laughs> and still feel good. Melissa of uh, Valla Waller, you have one there. Which one are you drinking? There? The Sweet Colleen Irish Red oh, Ale. Yeah, I was having those last week. Those are good, huh? It's great. Yeah, yeah Matt and the crew at Public Craft Brewing Company down at 628 58th Street does a great job with their beer, their food, their spirits, their event events. They are great down That's there. Right, so Danny. check out Public Craft Brewing Company. Do it. Publiccraftbrewing.com. Yes, check out their great food menu online as well. Mm. They have some great food. You know, I just went there to pick up our beers oh, yeah, for the yeah. show, mm-hmm. and I bought two four-packs for myself while I was there. Oh, what kind did you buy? I got the orange door hinge, that chocolate orange thing, Ooh, which is actually pretty tasty. Very nice. And I got some of the light lager, because that's always... Uh, I do like the light lager that Matt brews up Well, because you're wuss. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you don't like any flavor in your beer. Yeah, I, I like mixed drinks. You got to try that jalapeno margarita one. Uh, that's probably been in there for, what, the... Uh, Eight months now. <laughs> it's great, though. I'm just not in the mood for it. <laughs> so who are we here with today, Jason? We got a full house today, Don. Uh, yeah, this is the first time in the A-plus mobility studio that we have three guests at the same yeah. time. Three lovely ladies. They are the group of Violet Wilder. They are an uh, alternative folk rock group here in Kenosha. and uh, The number one alternative folk group in Kenosha. <laughs> Number one in your hearts. And you know what? Number one in the charts. What about dropping daisies? Yeah, they're old news. <sighs> well, you guys are here right now. Are they alternative folk? If they want to be. <laughs> <laughs> they're what they want Should I play the song again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's kind of just get to know you three. All right, well, let's start uh, down here with Kim. Um, so, did you grow up in Kenosha? She's the one that's been in Kenosha the longest. That's what I want to hear. Yes, I <laughs> was born in Aurora, Illinois, Wayne's World Party on Esalen, and then nice reference. I moved to Kenosha um, when I was just three years old. My dad got a job in Milwaukee, so we settled like old pioneers here in K Town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, that's all I know. I don't really, I don't remember Illinois. It's only three. So here, three years old. Yep. What was your first memory of oh, Kenosha? Uh, my first memory of Kenosha. This town stinks. Uh, no, no. I mean, it was all I knew. You know what I mean? Uh, my first memory was actually living. I must have been pretty young. We were living in our first place that we moved to when we moved here. It was like a. It was like an apartment above a school, and it was kind of a. I don't know. It's, it feels like a distant, weird dream now. But <laughs> um, I don't know. I just remember. Uh, my grandparents came to visit, and I was so excited because I left behind my stuffed animal at their house last time we saw. So they were coming over, oh. and I was just so excited to a, see them. But then b I knew that they had per kitty, so oh, per kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that was my first memory. And then the back of that apartment building was a bunch of decommissioned school buses. So, like, we'd go back there and play. And my brother, mm-hmm. Jason, who's older than me, he would, like, get in the driver's seat. We'd all, like, file in. I have uh, four siblings. And we would all, like, file in the the bus. And he'd be like, where do you want to go? And I remember shouting, the land before time. Oh. And, uh, that's so sweet. That's, 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 I, must have, I think I was only, like, three or four. Like, we only lived there for a year. So I was pretty little. Mm-hmm. Now, Melissa, how about you? You're born in Racine, lived yeah, there? Born in Racine, uh, lived in Utah for a little bit, and then oh. moved back to Racine. Utah? Utah. It's dry there, isn't it? Alcohol wise. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, I, like, was, I, was only, I was only eight when we moved back, so. Oh, well, okay. You didn't yeah. start early. <laughs> I did not start early. No. Uh, they really shut down on that stuff. The eight year old drinking is yeah. definitely not allowed in Utah, <laughs> Donnie. Definitely not. No. Um, then moved back to Racine in, in third grade, and but I went to school in Kenosha, so I like basically. So, like, what, like? Christian life. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. right. we can have some good conversations about that. We sure could. <laughs> I went there for a year and a did half. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, I did. Look at us. How was your experiences there? 
Um, I it was for me it was great. Okay. Yeah, I had good experiences. Me so. horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's all right. To each yeah. their own, right? Yeah. So you lived in Racine, that you had to come to school every mm-hmm. day. Yeah, so yeah. Her mom and, worked there. Yeah, my mom worked there. Oh, okay. So, so I guess and we that went worked to there. church there, and so okay. it was just I like basically. And this is before it was Journey Church, and it right. expanded. Yeah, it was still I mean, right assembly. now you go out there, it's a it's it's huge. crazy. Yeah, out it's there. crazy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, spent most most of my time was actually in Kenosha, but I like slept in Racine. Okay. It was one of those okay. situations. <laughs> yeah, and then moved to Kenosha in 2013, 2014. Mm-hmm. So what was your like first that. job? My first job, uh, I was it was when I was thirteen, mm. and I cleaned houses for or cleaned the house of our um, drafting teacher. Oh, very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Was, that was, was it Miss Stacy? It was <laughs> what? Was it Miss Stacy? Yes. Oh, I had her as well when I was yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, it was a beautiful house, <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. Okay. That's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I around so much in her drafting class that you would not believe. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. It's drafting. Like archi- like architecture. Yeah. Drawing buildings. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, fancy people class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only the best at Christian Life. The coolest okay. spot actually in the house was her studio, her drafting studio. Oh, I bet that was yeah, nice. It was so cool. So, Jana, you were born in Kenosha and then moved away? Is that what is going on here? Yes. Um, I was born in Kenosha at St. Cat's, okay. where it was St. Cat's, now the Commons. And we lived in Bristol for, like, my life and then moved to Brighton. So it was, like, Kenosha County. Oh, it's not too far away. No. Okay. Um, so I went to the county schools and then was going to be going to, like, middle school at Brighton, but... We moved when I was 11, so I would have gone to West Osha, but instead I went to Pesh to go. Where's that? It is 45 minutes north of Green Bay, okay. straight up, not on the thumb. It's like on the other, in the mainland, and it's where the great Pesh to go fire happened. Oh, oh yes. and that happened, uh, this is it the same day as the it? Chicago fire, <laughs> correct? It, it was the same. <laughs> I like listened October's to the Archspace s- podcast for that little yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So that's like their claim to fame, and there's... But yet overshadowed. Yeah. What got overshadowed? Oh, Chicago, yeah, yeah, it did, yes. Yeah, it did. yeah, because Chicago was so big, but mm. Peshtigo killed more people. That's oh, right. Wow. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So you came back to Kenosha for college. Mm-hmm. Why did you pick Kenosha? Did you still have some family here, or did you have any reason to come back here? I knew family friends, and that oh. was the only reason. And um, I didn't, like, apply to any other colleges. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, that seems great. Let's go to Parkside. So Parkside, what made you choose Parkside? They had a graphic design program and music. Oh, okay. There you <laughs> so go. I was just like, yeah, this looks good. Let's go. Uh-huh. Um, and I didn't want to stay in Peshtigo because it's three hours away and just Had there's nothing up there. Yeah, what did you do for fun there? Anything? Tip yeah. cows? Wait, what? Tip cows? No, no cow tipping. Okay. But they definitely go mudding. So like at some point in high school, I was Wait, riding. what is mudding? Uh, okay, so it's where somebody takes either a four-wheeler or a truck, and they drag you behind their four-wheeler or truck in, like, a sled in, or some inner sort tube of or? inner tube, and you're literally in mud. So Oh. Yes. So, like, after a good rain, you're like, yeah. I'm going They're like, let's go <laughs> And then they have, okay. like, people, just, like, tons of people doing it. I don't know why people don't die more. Yeah, I was going to say, what's the death rate? Like that seems dangerous. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, because they all grew up. Doing this stuff, yeah. there's so like a it's rock like, or a stick in the ground. You're you're dead. You'd think, Cut it. but the trails are pretty, pretty well clear, gone yeah. through. Oh, so yeah. it's like, oh, so there's trails. It's just oh, yeah. not anywhere. No, they're not certain trails. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Train, so there's like, trails. Yeah, no, there's a lot well, of trails up there. Yeah, oh. snowmobile trails, like yeah. the ski trails. Like okay, that. I kind of want to go muddy. It's fun. Yeah. I feel like Jana, like, she probably had the best the childhood of all of us growing up in the country. She had, yep. like, f- what was it, five or seven acres of land your house was on and just three wheelers horses. and horses and yeah. horses. Yeah. So we all comes back oh, to horses. I know. Oh, right. That's why I would have them. Okay. Yeah. I no longer do. All right. I want to get into when you guys first picked up your love for music. Um, let's start with you, Kim. Uh, music has always been really important to me. I've always really loved it. My dad played trumpets we had a trumpet in the house that i would just always like i would find and just like mess with my older brother uh played trombone and guitar and i was like that little annoying sister where i would like bust into his room and go through his <laughs> shit and he would and i wasn't sneaky about it at all like i would just like go in and like pull out his trombone and like 
with it and then like leave it out and then you come home and be like why the f- what do you you can at least put it away <laughs> I'm like eh, well, I don't know like I was just really little um, I remember like um, so my- that kind of inspired you to pick it up was this in the house or did you have any influences like your dad played it or you, your favorite musical act you're like oh I love the Beatles <laughs> I, yeah well my dad had a record player and he really loved classic rock like Kansas was one, one of his favorite bands and Led Zeppelin and do they do that song Don't Stop Believing no oh okay no that's Pearl Jam. Uh, oh, that's yeah. <laughs> As a Pearl Jam fan, you should know. Uh, yeah. You should know. You should really know. Um, but I just always really, really loved it. Like just like loving hearing it and always being curious about it and seeking it out. And my dad um, came across a old electric organ that his friend was throwing away. Ooh. So he that was like my first piano in the house. And then I really kind of took to it. So then my parents bought me a keyboard because I just was I just couldn't get enough. And I. Learned to play guitar for my brother, and I picked that up at a pretty young age, too. Not very good, but, you know, I don't really know. But, you know, I just always had always instruments in the house. and Fiddle I just, with stuff. Fiddle yeah. a little bit with everything, yeah. Yep, and I, and I always, that's what I would, would do in my free time. And then when fifth grade, I started the flute, and I took that, like, I took that very seriously. Like, I was always in my room practicing, and mm. I just really loved, like, playing it. Like, the, the, the serotonin boost I'd get from just, like... Opening up the case, like you know, <laughs> <laughs> you were like the true band nerd that liked to practice. I did like to practice. I practiced oh. a lot when I first started. Like I was very, I was very uh, determined to to play it. You know, I don't know. I've always really loved it. So you just felt the music in you. I felt it on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about you, Jade? Um, my mom and I used to like. She used to sing with me when I was probably around three. And she would teach me harmony, and so oh. she'd be like, "You sing this part now, sing this part." And oh. so that was probably my first recollection of actually doing anything with music. And she would always play piano by ear, so we always had a piano. Um, and I think she bought me like a little keyboard that I would be like, "Blink, blonk, blonk, blonk." Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, how did that go? Blink, blonk, blink, blonk. I know that song. Not well, <laughs> but you know, a good old Cassio. Was your mom in any bands or anything? Or? She was in a band oh. in a, a in her teens. Okay. And she was trying to. Rem- I think she remembered the name of it, and I don't remember what she said the name was, but. I was like, do you have any recordings? And she, I don't think she does, which is kind of sad. Uh, my uncle, at, when I was 13, he was like, hey, this guitar belongs to you. Your dad bought it for $100. And it was a mm. Les Paul. Wow. Um, the Paul. It's like the. The Paul. Yeah. It's the less expensive version of, of a Les Paul. The but Wish version? The, nah, no, it's oh, just like the more wish. solid, oh, okay. more affordable version. Oh, okay. And I was like, cool, I want to be like Green Day. So oh, then, okay. Um, my uncle is a really good guitarist, and he would like teach me some things like Dust in the Wind. Okay. And, like, was that a Kansas song? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Journey. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, that you're like a good memory there. Huh? Yeah. Pearl Jam. Yeah, that's Pearl. right. That's right. It all comes back to Pearl. Mm-hmm. Always. Always does. And horses. <laughs> uh, what about uh, your love for music? When did that first pop into this, your life? This is Melissa by talking, by yes. the way. So. Hello. Um, I, Hello, Melissa. St- hi. <laughs> I, uh, I basically was singing as, uh, as much as, as early as I could talk. So oh. I was always, always singing. We had a piano in my house, and so I was always, you know, doing the plink, plink, plink um, <laughs> on that as well. Can you do that um, one more time? Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> along with that, m- I grew up listening to classical music. My mom was a musician as well. She oh. is a great guitar player and singer. She's a She has a beautiful soprano voice. And so we were always singing, always playing music and um, listening to classical music. I think I've told this story a million times. But uh, my, my sisters and my mom would always... Um, uh, make me guess which composer we were listening to. Okay. So at like seven, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is Beethoven." And so yeah, my first CD was was a was a CD. We moved of when I was eleven, so I would have got to Orchestra Dork over here. Then, 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 then I started different. playing the viola so in fifth it grade. It is. Um, I really wanted to play the violin, day. but up, so my parents told me like that I'd have more opportunities to play the viola. And, and so they bought me a fifty dollar viola. And oh, and that happened uh, as San Diego Chicago Fire, yeah. correct? It wasn't San Diego. I listened to the Archspace podcast for that little bit right there. He goes, yeah. yeah. So that's like their claim to fame. <laughs> that's why it's because that I'm also but, like, yeah, over a soprano yeah. too. So you know, what kind of like is? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because yeah. Chicago is yeah. so big. Yeah. Soprano divas. That's right, of course. So I want to know how did you guys all meet? 
I college. knew family yeah. friends. College. That was the only reason. So, Kimberly, you and, first tried to go to Carthage. Um, I, I did. Like, I tried didn't as a keyword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I was like, yeah, that seems semester. great. Let's go to There's a couple things that happened. I, A, was not mentally ready to go to college. Yeah. I just did the thing where I was like, oh, I'm 18. I graduated high school. I need to go to college. And I went right away. And what I were really you going to be when you grew up? Um, I first started music, like I was, you okay. know, I was a music major, and then I, for a brief moment, I was, I switched to psychology because, you know, everyone's like, music's not gonna make you any money, not gonna get a job, oh, don't yeah. do it, you know. <laughs> so um, then I briefly switched to psychology, and then I realized that that wasn't really my calling either. So then I. Um, re-enrolled at Parkside as a music major, and that's... Okay, and then you met these lovely ladies. I did, I did. Melissa and I had a Siri class together, and Jane and I had yeah. band together. I think that was the first two things. Did you say a Siri class? Siri, Siri music, music Siri. Siri. Oh, theory. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought they had yeah, Siri, maybe. They taught me. how to use Siri these days. Oh, know. no. We had the Wait, same ends. <laughs> was Siri a thing back then? No, Not but really. every once in a while, so I, I work in a, a for Hal Leonard, it's a, it's a music publication company, and I'll be on the phone, and I'll be like, oh, that's Siri 1, and then Siri will be like, I'm listening. I'm like, nobody's talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> like, Shut Siri. up, woman. Yeah, that's why I don't have that what? feature on, because she also scares me. Yeah, so. she just, she's always right. like, listen. Talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, yeah. Um, we met separately, and then we all met together. Like, I feel like you guys met, and then we met, and then we met, and then yeah. we sang... We sang, you sang, and then we were like... And then you invited us over to your mom's house to watch Tangled and drink cheap whiskey. (laughs) Yeah, actually, I was... Kim Kim invited me over, and I was like, cool. And I get there, and Melissa's there, too. And I was like, third person, cool, okay. (laughs) I invited them both over, but apparently didn't tell either one of them (laughs) that that either one was going to be there. So then we all three watched Tangled together, and then we've been best friends ever since. Yeah, And then you were like, let's start a band? Kind of. Yeah, we sang, like we we would sing. Um, we yeah, did a lot of open mics. Yeah, how'd you start? Well, I mean, you guys became friends. You're watching Tangle and drinking whiskey. Yeah. yeah. But, but how'd you discover music, that, oh, I sing? Oh, I sing too. We were all in the music We were just department. doing like, okay. Well, so yeah. there used to be practice rooms. And like as music majors, the first year I was a music major too. And then I was like, new. Because like you can't do that with saxophone. I forgot to mention that I played saxophone. No. That's why I went there for like jazz, um, for the music department part of it, but then did did graphic design so I was like yeah bye I'll still do like a music minor but I yeah. still didn't really like to hang out in the art department no offense to the art department but the music <laughs> department was more where like it was cool and I don't know we just like we would see each other hanging out in the rooms and you join people and then you just like jam a little bit I basically attacked Jada in the hallway because she had a guitar <laughs> and she was walking with guitar and I was like you you over there you play guitar and she was like yeah I was like sing me something <laughs> okay. so we went to a practice room and she sang me bridge over troubled water and it was so beautiful oh, I just like I put her in my pocket and haven't let her out yet <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, and you, got, you used to sing. I mean, you would sing all the time. Mm-hmm. And I forget. Like, She's I, talking I did, to Melissa, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm I sorry. Think, <laughs> I think that we bonded over um, Adele and Coldplay. You yeah. two did. We yes. did. And then yeah. we would we would all do open mics separately. Like, yeah. Kim and I would sing together. Mm-hmm. And would you, you guys would sing together. We did. We did we, sad we did, like, country together. songs. Yeah, but that was we never did. at open mic. We would Where just would you go to open mic? Where were these open mics at? Sazzy. Sazzy is the big one. Okay. Cool. Any place else? That was like the main one that yeah. was. But we did that one a lot. Yeah, we did, we did it a lot because it was okay. pretty much the only one Sorry, at that time. No, uh, no, school too at Parkside, they had yeah. um, oh, like these yeah. music festivals all the time where they'd have like original music night and cover fest and like mm-hmm. all those. And it's we did almost fest. every single one of those. We did. Yeah. The first time we sang together, the three of us, was at a benefit concert for our mutual oh, friend. Yeah. Oh. Um, she was raising funds for medical costs mm-hmm. and yeah. we sang. Uh, lean yeah, on me. Lean on me. That's what it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, really? We yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We were like, I forgot about good. that. Because we, we, yeah, we each like sang separately, and then we're like, why don't we all just sing together? Yeah. And then, that's right. yeah. And and then the rest is by. history. I guess yeah. pretty much. Yeah, the rest yeah, is present. Much. All right. Well, I think we're going to take our first break, and we'll be right back to find out more about how Violet Wilder came to be. Yay. Right after this break. One bad day can lead to many more when the law becomes involved. And if your one bad day leads to the need for experienced representation, call on the law offices of Frank J. Paris. Paris is more than just a local rock star. This born and raised Kenosian specializes in misdemeanors, felonies, DUIs, drug charges, domestic violence, and juvenile law. Save this number in your phone now, 262-656-9906. You never know when you might need Frank Paris. He is here to help you. 
Hey, where are you going? I'm getting down to Frank's Diner. They're only open for breakfast and lunch, so I gotta hurry. Whoa, what do they got down there? Amazing food. They have their world-famous garbage plates, but so much more. Fantastic homemade French toast, delicious sandwiches for lunch, and be sure to check out their daily specials. They're always coming up with something new and different. That's Frank's Diner, located in downtown Kenosha at 508 58th Street. And we're back from that break. And what a break it was. Oh, the best break I've ever had. And we're here with Violet Wilder. And you can find them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Bandcamp. You can also find them on the uh, World Wide Web at violetwilderband.com. Listen to their music on Apple, Spotify, anything that's streaming, you can find Violet Wilder. Check them out. They are great. Now, you girls are a three-piece, but you do all different kinds of variations of music. You uh, acapella. You do stuff with just uh, acoustic instruments. You do full band things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you have any kind of, like, specifics that you do individually? Or do you kind of just, is it all just a whole jumble of everything? Well, Melissa plays the viola. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And piano. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right. Every situation is kind of like different. So mm -hmm. if there's a show that they're like, it's supposed to be real low key, then we'll just do three of us. Maybe sometimes we'll have a guy join us for percussion mm -hmm. and we will normally play like acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. have piano usually, and she'll always play viola. Um, then sometimes if it's like a bigger space, we will have a bassist and a drum kit. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes... If you're singing like the national anthem, yeah. then we just show up and they give us a microphone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Well, as far as instrumentation goes, like Jane and I will switch back and forth between guitar and piano. Kind of like depends on whatever we wrote the song on, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. And um, yeah. Who does the majority of the songwriting? Um, right now, we all we all write songs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right now, the majority is between Jane and I, but we have a brand new one that Melissa just wrote that. Ooh. Yeah. That we're working on right now. Mm -hmm. So how how'd you call how'd you put the name Violet Wilder? We love Wisconsin. We love flowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wisconsin's pretty wild. Okay, yeah. so the violet is the Wisconsin <laughs> state flower. Mm -hmm. um, the color purple represents like imagination and creativity, mm -hmm. and wilder is somebody off the beaten path, and um, it has. A connection with Laura Ingalls Wilder, who was born in Wisconsin. Actually, uh -huh. Melissa's related to her. Yep. Oh, really? And mm -hmm. I drove through that town once. Oh, it was yeah. very really? exciting. Also, it just there's a museum. Was one of the first names that we could come up with that we liked that wasn't taken. It's phonetically okay. pleasing. I thought it was based off that uh, Ryan Reynolds movie, Van Wilder. No. Uh, no? Okay. No. Have you? How many times have you heard that one? Never. Actually, oh, really? You're the first. <laughs> okay, all right. Usually all people right. think it's Violent Wilder. Violent Wilder. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What were some of the other names you guys kind of tossed around? They were all kind of in that vein. Yeah. Like we talked about like Wild or something or the the, the Wilders. Or, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We just, we liked yeah. Violet. We liked Wilder. Mm -hmm. I don't even we remember. We liked the, the Violet's a flower. So like, yeah. yeah. The wild flowers were taken. And then all like <laughs> kind of brought back to Wisconsin because we're from Wisconsin. Okay. We love yeah, it. we yeah. wanted it to we be it. like an homage to Wisconsin. Like we always, like we kind of wanted that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, we wanted it to mean something to us too because we're all creatives, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, as musicians, I think all of us are a little bit off the beaten path, right? <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to hear about the first paid gig you guys got. Oh gosh. Like as where, a band? Yeah, where was this? It is together. As Violet Wilder? Correct. Well, the uh, first gig we ever played together, technically as Violet Wilder, was opening for Ben Moana's CD release show. Oh, yeah. Mm, okay, that was the first yeah. the first show? Where, no, where was that? Non Pain, I'm assuming? Rustic Road. I think he paid oh, us. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Upstairs in the loft? Yep. Yeah. In a, yeah in Very nice. Yeah. It was a great show. Yeah, it was. It was good. And I think Haley played that night too, right? No, it was just us. I think I'm com combining That was shows. the 58 Below show. So, how um, nervous were you guys for that first show? Um, not. Not terribly nervous. You guys don't no. look like you're, you ever get nervous. That's not sure. true. Well, we no? were in a previous band, and we're used to kind of playing mm -hmm. shows yeah. together. So this was just a different 
It was different, though. It was it's different. Th- we did have a learning curve with yeah. learning how to sound full, so stripped down. Right. Because our previous band, were, the three of us were, like, fronting, singing. That was a seven-piece band. And then mm-hmm. to go down to Which the band was those? The Oscillators. Oscillators, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And that was seven-piece. Yeah. yeah. All three of you were in that one? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Cool. We yep. didn't talk about that, Donnie. No, we did not. <laughs> Boy, how did you split those paydays? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeez. you had to get paid to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Just for fun That's back then, right? Yeah. yeah. Here's one drink, chick it, cut it in seven pieces. Yeah. <laughs> we each get a sip. Um, no, so, I mean, it was kind of, it was important to the way we sound now to have that because we were, like, stripped down instead of, like, I don't want to say hiding behind a seven-piece band. Um, heavily relying. Yeah, yeah, um, to, like, have the full sound to be able to carry our own as just the three of us and then build about a band that way where we did, like, the core of the work, which is the three of us, built a good uh, base and then had a full band spring out. So did you guys break up that band because you wanted to start your own band, or what happened No, there? that band broke up, and we decided we didn't want to stop playing music together. But so we had, yeah. we had started Violet Wilder before that had, we before the did. Oscillators broke up. But yeah. Oscillators were kind of like... So that's why they broke up, because like, these three tricks yeah. are making their own bands. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel there's a little dirt Different to direction. the story here. <laughs> yeah. that's, that that's just for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> so occasionally you have... Uh, Bass and uh, percussionists. Yeah. Do you want to give a shout out to these people who are your? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Dave Williams is our drummer, and he's the best, and mm-hmm. he's the world's busiest man. <laughs> uh, he's so sweet. He's a Labrador in yeah. human form, and he's so kind, and we love him. And he's really good at drums. <laughs> yep. And then, see, I'm talking too much again. Why do you? No, you're not. Like, you're not talking too just much. Like, you're doing great. You're doing it. <gasps> And then uh, our bassist up until recently was my husband, Andy Warren Jepson. Um, but he actually is, he recently is phasing out. And then we have um, our friend Zach Wood, who's going to be playing bass with us. And okay. he's a really talented musician. And we've just started recently putting that together. We've met with him three times now. Yeah. And uh, it's going really well. <coughs> uh, what percentage do you, of shows do you think you do with a five piece compared to a three piece? Like, what kind of ratio do you do? I mean, is it. I'd say like 60-40. Okay, so it's pretty evenly split then? I think yeah. we do more trio shows j- than full band just because it's easier. Mm-hmm. It, they're more yeah. bookable. People <laughs> yeah. are usually looking for like, oh, an like acoustic set or like mm-hmm. or a tiny little stage in a cidery or like come yeah. play the farmer's market. You know what right. I mean? Or yeah, like a big yeah. full band's not really appropriate. Oh, we should also shout out Justin. Oh, yeah. yeah Justin Hall. Justin yeah, Hall. Don't forget him. I know. <laughs> He yeah. plays a, a, a cajon with us when we do like acoustic uh, trio stuff. But he's a really good like pianist, and he um, he's in Ben Milana's he's in Ben Milana's band. band. Yeah. And you guys did a collab with him, correct? You with Ben? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we sang on a couple of his songs. Mm-hmm. His first album we were on, and then we did the outside. Yeah, the outside is his most recent release yeah. that yeah. we're on. Yeah. What was that experience like? It's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, Ben's a Ben's just a. a a fun he's a really good friend of ours and he's just a great musician very creative yeah and he's steadfast in his decisions like you won't find him being wishy-washy i'm like mm-hmm. oh i don't really know like mm-hmm. he's good with direction being like i would like you to do this here yeah. at this time and cool and that's like kind of nice you know what I mean? yeah. so i'm like i'm like yeah you know yeah. Yeah. they're not like okay sing something and you're like what yeah and yeah. he's like uh no, or yeah, that works. Do that, mm-hmm. and then, or he'll be like, "Oh, but do it, but this way." So he's this is he's my really direction good. that I yeah, yeah. yeah. my vision. And he's really good with vision yeah. and direction. Very yes. cool, very cool. Very so last year, 2023, you put out your debut album. We did, we did. Ooh, it's for one the record. Year old. For the record, yep, it just had its one year. Is it potty train yet? Anniversary. Um, I think so. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's a lady. She doesn't do that. <laughs> 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 but uh, nine songs is available uh, for purchase for on CD if you want to support the band I, mm-hmm. via Bandcamp. Yes. But if you just want to hear it, I would, I'd love to hear it first, and I did. Uh, it's available to stream on anything out there, Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. Or even Bandcamp, if you don't have any um, streaming sources, you can stream Who it doesn't? from Bandcamp. Some, Some people. people. Really? Yeah. Some okay. people. Some. I mean, I don't know any. And if they don't, there. then they can also get physical CDs. There yeah, yep, go. yep. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. So it's a, it's a great record. Uh, I like the song The Witch. That was my good Oh, thank, thank you. you. They wrote yeah. that one. We yeah. co-wrote that one. Oh, very nice. So walk me through this experience of recording this album. We, we did it in my home studio. Andy, my husband, recorded us, mm-hmm. tracked us, mixed us, mastered it. Wow. At yeah. the Nest. At the Nest is what we call it. Sounds Put great, in hours yeah. and hours and hours of work. Mm-hmm. So and hours. It, was, it probably took about two to three years. We started it in 2012. Wow. Yeah. And so, um, I mean, you know, these guys, Kim and Andy are in, like, 
three bands. Mm. Um, so they have a lot of stuff going on and just a lot of other projects that they're working on. And, you know, you have to coordinate with people's schedules. So well, it's we're... hard, too, like when everyone's working full time, that exactly. you just yeah. have to yeah. get in and do it when you can. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't like a studio where you go in and you just, like, take you know, the entire day or whatever studio hours and you'd track you we would basically like set aside nights and do certain weekend, things on those weekend nights. Saturdays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. week weekends sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um so you didn't like hammer it home in like a month. You're all no, writing, no. recording. It was just a work in progress kind of thing. We yeah. want to get this album out, but we'll get it out on our time. Yeah. yeah. Well, you did it right because it sounds great. So thank you. Know, you. The, the and it was a fun. Everything. It was yeah. a fun experience with Andy too because yeah. he's you know he was he's a friend and a bandmate and obviously Kim's husband. So you know we all love him. Kim loves him most. <laughs> and he has a good ear. And he has a great ear, and yeah. he you know he was a great producer, and it was just yeah it was a lot of fun. He had some great ideas that he's like do this, and we'd be mm -hmm. like okay. Yeah. So Kim, can you shout out your other bands that you're in with your husband? Yeah, we are. We are in an art rock band called Sun Silo, and that's okay. um, Andy's like project. He writes the song and fronts it, sings, and I uh, play my my keyboard and some guitar, and then I do backup vocals for it. Cool. Um, that one's a, a different a different beast, but I love it. I love it okay. just the same. It's a it's a it's Sun Silo then. Huh? Sun Silo, yeah. All right, check them out too. Cool. Yeah. Cool. They're great. All right, so what's next for Violet Wilder? We'd like to record more. Yeah. Yeah. I did yeah. give you a hookup on my buddy. You did. Ian <laughs> Lund. You should uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. get a hold of him. Maybe yeah. you guys can get into his studio. Yeah. yeah. We toured the studio. Are you selling your CDs at your shows and stuff, too? Do you have uh, physical copies on hand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Because good. Yeah, right now, everyone streams everything. I mean, you want to show your support for a band, and you can go to their show and see them, but you also want to buy something. Yeah. So and We have like other merch, too. And you you know, got courtesy courtesy of the lettering machine, That's correct? Right. The yes. Machine. They do such great work. They do. Yeah. Right. And especially Jaina being the graphic designer, she she gets us the good shit. You know, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna see any what is it, Gil Gildan shirts no, on our Gildan. watch. No, no. Gildan. Bella <laughs> Canvas or go home. Yeah. <laughs> Brand snobs. Yeah. Um, and we have our web store too, so we have mm -hmm. physical stuff that we could carry with us. But you know, if you ever just are th hungry for some by the Walder merch, you can go to our web store and the mm -hmm. Litter Machine. They'll produce it, they'll print it, they'll ship it right to you, or you Made can just pick order. it up for free. Wow, yeah, I'm going to have just... to get my very own t shirt. You should. You I should. should. I will. I'll, I'll order it before you the end of the night. Pretty Aww. nice designs. You know, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's any, uh, violetwilderband.com. You can find all those links right there. Yeah, yeah. you can find up upcoming shows. Give us a little hint of some upcoming shows. I hear you guys are maybe playing Taste of Wisconsin this year as it's well. Maybe Taste of we Wisconsin. are. Yeah. Wow. We are doing the Friday night closing spot. Yes. Wow, you're closing out Taste of Wisconsin? We are. On the big stage. Yes. Yes. Which is actually, a big I like time. Well, they get the yeah. Friday night closing spot. Yeah, the Friday night. Yeah. You don't want the spot. Sunday night closing spot. No, you want spot, the Friday. Everyone goes home. Then. Or July twenty sixth yeah. at yeah. eight p.m. eight thirty eight thirty yeah. at Taste of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's gonna be packed. Wow, I can't I so. wait oh, yeah. to be there for that. Yeah, that you're gonna good. be there in the front row, aren't you, Donnie? I with, with my shirt. shirt that <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> buy. <laughs> yes, and then I, I will buy a shirt. Oh, I'm, cool. oh wow, I will. Okay, well, I'm going to be watching the web store tonight, and if I don't see a sale. <laughs> Is there any discount? Do I get a discount? What's the discount code? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good idea. They'll give you free shipping. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'll come yeah, pick shipping. it up. Yeah. I'll come pick it up in a week and a half. When yeah. it's ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Violet Wilder. Wow. You guys are great, and I love what you're doing. Keep it up. Keep the music alive here in Kenosha. And with that, let's take our second break. And we'll be right back. Whether you are buying, selling, or just curious about the local market, Shannon Franklin of REMAX Newport Elite would love to offer her support and service. Shannon knows Kenosha both as an agent and can help you find exactly what you're looking for. Find her realtor webpage at REMAX.com or give her a call at 262-960-5182 to begin your real estate journey. Looking for that perfect gift? Contact Aaron Hunzinger of AH Did It for a fabulous one-of-a-kind creation. Aaron specializes in metal, canvas, leather, and wood to bring amazing works of art to life. Contact him now by finding him on Facebook at AH Did It. That's all one word. AH Did It. And we're back from that break. And what a break it was, huh? Yay. 
<laughs> All right. Ring a ding ding. What time is it? Uh, it's time for the Kenosha Connects. And the Kenosha Connects is brought to you by Union Park Tavern. Don't hit the table with your thumb. I'm just so excited about Union Park Tavern and what Angie and Ben are doing there. Well, you know, Donnie, we're all we're all cool kids hang out at Union Park Tavern, of course, mm-hmm. at 4520 8th Avenue. They serve up great libations and award-winning food. Did you know they open at 11 a.m. on weekdays and 9 a.m. on the weekends? I do. I've been there for that great brunch. And I forgot to mention they have musical entertainment almost every night of the week. And what? There's more? more. Oh, jeez. They have one of the greatest beer gardens in town. The weather's it getting nicer. Is. Go out there and have a great drink in the beer garden. Mm-hmm. And That's you know, Union Park Tavern, 4520 8th Avenue. We got to tell Angie to book you guys, Violet Wilder, at <laughs> Union Park Tavern. Tavern. Yeah. Wouldn't that be yet? a show? No. Oh. Ooh, all right. Angie, come on now. Let's yeah. get you guys booked. Well, you guys probably charge like, what, $2,000? Yeah, million. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Five million. Plus a free burger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we're going to get you booked at Union Park, okay? Hey. okay? A summer show in the beer garden. Ooh. That sounds good. Ooh. Ooh. Like a beer I think garden. That, that would be, a, that would be a nice, yeah. relaxing garden. atmosphere. Yeah. The sweet sounds of Violet Wilder eating a fish fry on a Friday. At the K-Town Connects event? Well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> we aired at your book for a fundraiser event, so don't worry. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, they said yes, yeah, so we got to come up with it. <laughs> Start with the band, then figure out the cause, or anything else after that. Once you got the entertainment book, then you're good, right? <laughs> That's right. All right. Are you, you girls ready for some Kenosha Connects questions? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we got three, so we got to be kind of quick with these. Okay. okay. Last great meal you had in Kenosha, Kimberly. Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, Frank Steiner, the corned beef hash. Nice. Ooh, we love Frank Steiner here. A great sponsor of the Kate Tell Connects podcast. Sure, sure. I love that sushi bay. Ooh, oh, that's sushi their last bay. name. Uh, the coffee pot. Their yes. tuna melt is sublime. Mm-hmm. Favorite local band or musician? You guys are musicians. You know a lot of people in this town. Um. I, and you can't say Violet Wilder. <laughs> or Stone Silo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, a couple of my friends have a really interesting, awesome, cool project happening. Um, they, he, his name is uh, Jared. It goes by Killing Salem. And then um, also my other friend Bryce has a band called Culture, Gar- Culture Garden. Bryce from uh, Love Your Community? Yeah. Oh, ah, he was on the show. Oh, yeah. He is a great Bryce. man. He yeah. is he is, uh, he is is great. He makes really awesome music. And then mm-hmm. um, him and Jared got together. They merged their two bands, and they call it... Um, uh, uh, Oh God! Oh oh no! Now I'm messing it up. Um, That's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, 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 killing. Well, it's it's. Oh my gosh! Killing Salem and Culture Garden, and I think he goes by. Oh my gosh! I have to look it up. I'm doing so. I'm killing doing so Salem. terrible. Um, killing Salem is one of them, but they're both great. Check them out. And then they do have like they have a hybrid thing going where both the bands are merged oh, together. Oh, very nice. Have you guys played Beachfront Art Fest? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you have. Okay, very nice. That's a great event, and it oh, grows it every year. I can't wait for this year. It's going to yeah. except last year. Oh, when it poured rain. Yeah, rain. Yeah, he was an art vendor oh, there. Yeah. Oh, but it was still a good event, though. Oh, you know how that was super fun because it was pouring rain, and we all got there. And we all just got drunk in the pouring rain in your in my little, tent. Yeah, in my little. Yeah. <laughs> I was right next to one of those wooden kiosks. I had like a little VIP section next to mine, and oh. we all kind of hung out in there. And, it was pouring rain. And I mean, it was pouring. Yeah. Like you couldn't even walk. No, in it. I remember. I, mean, it was, I was there last year. We didn't play last year, but I like to attend. I like. To I think throw. I Ubered home. Hmm. Sun Silo played last year, actually. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, but it's it's Salem's Garden. That's what they go by. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry, Jared and Bryce. Don't worry. We so can sorry. edit this. So okay. it just makes you sound like you're. Yeah. Like yeah. That. <laughs> How about you, Jade? Uh, my favorite bands. Local band. Local yeah, favorite bands. local band. I'm gonna say Ben Moana. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Melissa, you agree, or you have something else? Well, no, I can't do. I can't say the same. I do you love. Can. <laughs> I do love Ben, but I also um, I love our good friend Lumphead. Lumphead. Um, yeah. Lumphead. I'm not familiar with that. Brittany, She's the guy with the Brittany Lumley. Oh yeah, she. We actually sang oh, yes. on, on oh, her yes. album, mm-hmm. and That's she just right. yeah. She's the really music cool. videos she released in course so to the cool. album are oh, really yeah. good. Yeah. They're so fun. But she's a great songwriter, yeah. and I just love. She's I nice love too. She just seems like a really sweet person. I believe I saw her at Pavle's when they first opened Pavle's back up, and she opened up for Daniel Thompson. I that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds yeah. right. Uh, what is your favorite annual Kenosha event? Mm. Right now, for me, it's beachfront. I've been going to it every year. It's so much fun, and I love seeing something like that happen 
organically in Kenosha in the the group of people who put it on. I I, I support Love Your Community Inc. and I think they're doing great stuff. For and, sure. And I really enjoy attending Beachfront and yeah. been ha- happy to play the times that we did. I think and it's great to, to see the young people are doing like their own events kind of yeah. thing. And they're doing them well too. So it's yeah. that's awesome. like everything. It just out. grows every year, and this year is going to be crazy. I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that they have like the tents and the band shells, a perfect spot for it. Mm-hmm. And I, know, I somehow want to get K Town Connects connected so we can sulk off their success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your mo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jaina. Uh, it's probably it. Uh, fourth Fest because I love watching the. Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I love going that downtown so for fun. the. Uh, oh, Fourth July? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shot's hidden there. The Fourth Fest? Fourth <laughs> Fest! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like the Fourth Fest? Whenever I'm not in Kenosha for the Fourth of July, I get really sad. I'm yeah. like, I need to be home. Like, I need yeah. to be at the lake right You're now. You're missing stuff, everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my birthday is July 2nd, so. Oh. So, oh. there you go. Three day celebration. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Exactly. The Festival of Me. <laughs> oh. Cul- yeah. Culminating with fireworks. You. Yes. Jason Fest. Just for me, yes. <laughs> yeah, they should rename it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's what it's called, it. isn't it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, uh, Melissa, what about you? I, I don't, you know, I, I'm just going to say I also agree about beach fe- Beachfront. I, yeah. yeah, I love it. Yes. That's a great It's a great event. event. Yeah. I signed up to be a vendor again this year. So. Oh, woo-hoo. Well, well see you nice. there. Yeah. All right. If you could give a shout out to only one other local business, who do you pick? The lettering machine. Ooh, <laughs> that was going to be my answer. Ah, all right. You work there. You can't do that. Why? I can do that because... <laughs> They're cool. Well, I did it yeah, because when they listen, they'll, they'll fire you if you didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, gonna, no. Tina really cracks the whip over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Sam at Blue House, Blue House Books. Yeah. Oh, great yeah. place. Too. Great place. She's been, she's so sweet. I'm so happy yeah. to see her like succeed. And she's really the, succeeding yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah, Go yeah, back in the fun. archive. She was a former guest on the yeah. K-Talk Connects yeah. podcast. Yeah. I mean, we met her when she just had pop-ups at Creative yeah. Space. Mm-hmm. So to we see what she has now. We met her at the Buzz. The Buzz, yeah. She was like this tiny little cart of books. Yeah. Like, what is this? Bought a bunch of used books for a dollar. Yeah, great. it's been yeah. really oh, great to like, cool. see her grow. Yeah, yeah she's come a long yeah. way. She's oh, yeah. she's doing great. Yeah. Yeah. What is something about Kenosha that you'd like new residents to know, Melissa? Oh, that's so tough. Skip me. <laughs> we, we went the other way this time, so kind of I know. threw you in yeah, for a loop. I was ready time. last Jana, you, you have an answer. Yeah, uh, beware of Sheridan because it'll blow out your tires. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, fair. Fair. that's fair. Yeah. Good advice. <laughs> Don't speed through summers. Uh-huh. Ah, there oh, you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. When I was 11, right. so I would have gone to Which West now closed Kenosha business, business do you wish you could bring back? It is 45 minutes. Oh, long. that was my oh. favorite. Straight up. The green uh, mint like, mochas you know, that they had. Yeah, yeah, the it was and it fantastic. Panini's. They had this vegetarian, oh. vegan panini. Oh, yes. and that happened uh, in uh, the Chicago fire, correct? It was in the Iowa Silver and the Archbase podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like they're like, and they had open mics. So I was, I played, but it, my yeah, first overshadowed. Time playing an open mic was there, and it was like a patch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah because cool. Chicago I love so that they had the drop down ceiling and had the art That's right. on, Ooh, on the tiles up there. It was just a great place. Yeah, I never saw it. Oh, I'm sorry. You would have loved it. You really would have. We have enough memories to talk about it. Yes. Draw a picture of it. I was like, yeah, that seems great. Let's go to big Kenosha debate. Big star or the spot? I'm just not talking so you guys talk. I, I, I used to ride bikes to the spot all the time. There you so go. I have to, you know. That that was it. Yeah. That was the spot. I, just, I love the spot. Mm-hmm. All right. I love that Big Star's burgers are $1.80, whereas the spot's like three sixty five. True. That's fair. Smart. That's fair. But what tastes better? Um, they both taste like... Uh, greasy deliciousness. Yes, if you mm-hmm. want that, you go to either yeah. place, right? I like yeah. the root beer at Big Star better, like the root beer float. Uh, That's you fair. should try That's the oh, banana sure. shake at Big Star. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you like shakes, mm-hmm. just try the banana. Go a little crazy, try the banana shake. I am allergic to bananas. Yeah. Um, then do not try. <laughs> Why are you trying don't to kill her? You, Maybe Johnny. don't. <laughs> don't kill our guest. Banana shake kills Violet Wild. You can see that. That's I'm suggested really by Donnie of Kate Duncan X. Yeah. You ever listen to that asshole yeah. again? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our Kenosha Connects brought to you by Union Park 
Tavern. And what time is it now, Donnie? It's trivia time. Yay. And <laughs> trivia is brought to you by The Letter Machine. They are located at 725 50th Street. They can customize almost anything. Gifts, uniforms, school apparel, office attire, accessories, you name it. Also, check out their online novelty shop at thelarrymachine.com as they have some awesome ready-made designs just for you. Check them out. We love Tina and Dave at the Lettering Machine. All of them out there. Huh? Uh, yes, all of them. Even you. You worked there. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> For our trivia segment today, Donnie will take on our guests in a 100% legitimate, definitely not skewered, on the level, totally fair trivia game. <laughs> uh, this week's completely random subject and not catered to the guests one bit is testing your knowledge of the great American songbook. Yeah. All right, Donnie. So these are... Donnie, these are classic tunes rolled from like a century ago. Okay. All right. And they have uh, become timeless over the generations. Dust in the Bottle. They're songs from a... Is that a song? <laughs> <laughs> By David Lee Murphy. So the blog Dave's Music Database has accumulated their top 100 songs, which deserve to be mm. in the American Songbook. Ooh. I'll give you the lyrics to these classic tunes. You must tell me the title of the song. Oh, God. Easy enough, right? Mm. So. Uh, girls, you like to go first? like to pass it to Donnie. We'll go first. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, girls, I'm going to use some lyrics. You got to tell me the song. Okay. Easy. Heaven. I'm in heaven. And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. And I seem to find happiness I seek when we're out together dancing. Cheek to cheek. Got it. Wow. Well done, Melissa. Thank you. That's Great one job. nothing. <laughs> Donnie? What you got for me? <laughs> okay, Donnie, I'm starting out with an easy one. Usually, I kind of give Donnie the really hard ones. Stairway to heaven. <laughs> you know what the Great American Songbook is? You know what Timeless Classics are? <laughs> All right, Donnie. Let's you must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. Seal. Kiss from a rose. <laughs> you got that. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> That's as time goes by. Uh, Didn't know that. So, girls, you already beat them because that was an easy one. Okay. So, Question two for the lady. There's three questions for each. Yes. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Girls. I wandered around, and I finally found the somebody who could make me be true, and could make me be blue, and even be glad just to be sad thinking of you. How about thinking of you? You're close. <laughs> it, was, it had to be you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's okay. Donnie? I'm ready. Don't know why there's no sun in the sky, since my man and I ain't together. It keeps raining all the time. I think the girls know. Can you give me a hint? Um, it's a song. Oh, title. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Buddy Holly by Weezer. Yeah. No girls, you steal that one? Stormy Weather. You got it. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice work. All right. Girls, number three for you. Never saw the sun shining so bright. Never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by. When you're in love, my how they fly. Mm-hmm. Yep, oh, that song. Bluebirds, blue skies. Yep, there you go. Wow. wow. Blue skies. Al Jarreau does a cover of that song in the Glen Gary, Glen Ross soundtrack at the end credits, and it's the best version of that song. Nice. Awesome. Donnie? I'm ready. All right. You're down uh, three, two to nothing, right? Three to nothing. I got this in the bag. You got no you Losing. Don't. Donnie, tell the, all the gang at 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Whisper of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old-time throng. <laughs> the f***? <laughs> <laughs> That's a give my regards to Broadway. Oh. oh I knew that. Why'd you say it right away? I knew it. I was on the tip of my tongue. that well, song. Girls, you have won trivia. Woo-hoo. Congratulations, and guess what you win? You win a... Koozies from Koozie. the Larry Machine. Koozie, courtesy of the Learning Machine. Ooh, Look at that. Look wow. At Congratulations. That. Put it on my Thank you so Colleen. much to the Larry Machine for that. Yeah. You probably you. made those for us. Huh? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I, that was a fantastic show right there. VioletWilderBand.com? Yes, yes, check them out there. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple, any of your streaming services. You go see a show, go to their website. You can see all their gigs coming up. Buy a CD from them as well. Do it. 
and get some vinyl records out. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Right. someday. Yeah, yeah, you will. You will. And I'll make sure you look for this episode and many other episodes of the K Town Connects podcast on Spectrum Channel 14 and the Kenosha Community Media Streaming Channel on your Roku. We air every Wednesday at 11 a.m. and Sundays at 5 p.m. Look, Mom, so girls, I'm on TV! Instead of going on your phone and picking out when you want to listen to the show, you can tune in to Channel 14 at Wednesdays at 11 and Sundays at 5, and there's some random episode will pop up. Oh, and it might be yours. And it might be yours, it might not. It might so. be the lettering machine. Wow. Who knows? Who knows? They have 127 episodes to pick from. And 126. 26, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And don't forget to follow the K-Town Connects podcast on all your social media outlets, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, X. and TikTok. Yes, don't forget about TikTok. Yeah, TikTok's give us a, fun. Yeah, you're doing good on TikTok. Thank you. Thank you. Great work. <laughs> uh, give us a five-star thumbs up, whatever you do, and help us spread the word about the hottest podcast in town. And what podcast is that? The K Town Connects yes. podcast. Yeah. yeah, that's right. They were going to say the art space. Uh, yeah, no. they were. Right? Uh, no. <laughs> WTF, fuck my uh, And uh, this episode is brought to you by our Patreon subscriber of the week, Dan Valdez. What's up, buddy? Hey, How are you thanks, doing, Dan. my friend? Thank you for all of your support. And if you'd like to become a Patreon subscriber, visit ktownconnects.com. Get this subscription start as low as $2 a month. Wow. And guess what? What? It gets you early access to every episode in its raw, unedited wow. form. And you know how much I like it raw. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. And sometimes you can get up to over an hour of bonus content. Also, you every episode you'll get our spinoff series. It is what it is. Where myself and you, Jason, we talk about oh, everything and anything that's oh, on my. our mind. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Watch so your language, sir. get on <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we talked to the girls earlier today. They were talking about their, their worst jobs. Yes. So Patreon supporters can hear that part. Yes, that was a fun part. So you must And one a- of them might have said the F word, too. Ooh, yes. So subscribe to <laughs> patreon.com. All right, ladies, thank you so much for being here. It's thank been you. great. It's been a great show. Us. So once again, that's violetwilderband.com. And uh, hey, Donnie, we got to thank all of our sponsors mm-hmm. for making this show possible, yes. including uh, A Plus Mobility, the law office of Frank J. Paris, Frank Steiner, Shannon Franklin of Remax Elite, Union Park Tavern, Aaron Hunzinger of AH Did It. He's stopping in a little bit, actually. Yes, I can't wait to see him. Casey Family Options, Funerals and Cremations. About Time Moving Systems. Public Craft Brewing. The Lettering Machine. Vintage Underground. Wink Beauty Boutique. And the Port of Kenosha Beverage House. And, of course, Rocket Optical Eyewear. Thank you all so much for your sponsorships. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I need a nap now to read all those sponsors. I know, right? Boy, we're really racking in the dough, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we don't charge much. <laughs> um, would you ladies like to uh, maybe bring us out in maybe like a new theme song we might use, no. maybe? Well, we won't use it, but we'll, we won't use it for a theme song. <laughs> Dropping Daisies has us on that one, but mm-hmm. you girls have done a version. You stole our song. You covered our song. Stole it. We didn't steal we didn't anything. <laughs> Public domain. Yeah. <laughs> That's Just how we're able to use it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you haven't heard, they have done a version of My Hometown, the, the classic Kenosha th- song that we have used for our theme song of the podcast here. And um, we kind of talked them into doing a little version here today for us. So, yeah. uh, I can't wait. All right. How do we do this? Just- I'm from Kenosha, I said Kenosha, the great big busy town, but in the middle of the USA, between the New York Harbor and the San Francisco Bay, where the wonderful east meets the beautiful west, is the right place to be from. I'm singing so loud of it, cause I'm so proud of it. I'm singing so loud of it, cause I'm so proud of it. Kenosha, my hometown. Ah. Woo! Yay! That was hard. That was really hard. Usually we don't sing.
sit for that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Angie, what'd you think? Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Angie. Thank you. That I would be like, bing.